Copper futures declined to $3.83 per pound from a recent high of $3.90 due to a strengthened US dollar driven by investor anticipation of a crucial employment report. Despite this, Panama's decision to close first Quantum Minerals Cobra cooperation following a court ruling deeming the mine's new operating contract unconstitutional poses a threat to copper supply. With the mine contributing 1.5% of the global supply, this move challenges the projected 2024 surplus. Copper demand is poised to surpass primary supply within the next four years, projecting a 20% surge in prices by 2027, according to Bloomberg Neff analysis. Between 2023 and 2027, primary supply is expected to fall short, leading to a deficit. The deficit is projected to peak at 4.5 million tons after 2025, prompting increased recycling production to meet demand. Economic sentiment is likely to influence copper prices more than the long-term supply and demand balance. China responsible for over 50% of global copper demand plays a pivotal role in price trends. Additionally, while the lower US inflation rate may suggest softening prices, it could also impact expectations of easing interest rate tightening, potentially boosting copper prices over the next two years. If you are interested in investing in commodities, stocks, crypto, indices or bonds, you should definitely try to get copy. You can invest with us just one click starting from one US dollar. Sounds good, right? Simply scan this QR code or check the link in the description below to get started. Fill out the form and then make a video call with a Ducas Copy operator. That's all you need to do to open your Ducas Copy bank account. Your Swiss bank account with Ducas Copy will be ready to use the same day. You can also purchase different commodities using our platform. The copper chart looks great and is in an upward trend. Next price target is $5 and longer term we see $7.5 per pound as a target by the end of the decade. It is wise to generate a dividend income with copper producers like BHP, Rio Tinto, Freeport McMoran and Southern Copper. As a Swiss investor, Glencore is also a great pick. Up to 7% can be annually generated. Copper inventory levels at LME, COMEX and Shanghai have risen to 275,000 tons but are still well below the high of 625,000 tons from 2020. This is why exploration is important too for future supply. Copper companies like Talk Resources and Henan Metals are interesting when copper prices move. Let's start with Talk. The company drills the Santa Cecilia project for further discovery for gold and copper. It is adjacent to Newmont Barracks North the Abiato project, which is the fourth largest undeveloped gold project globally. Talk successfully drilled higher grade mineralization in the second trailhead of its inaugural program, intersecting 557 meters of 0.38 grams gold per ton, 0.23% copper and 56 ppm molybdenum. A historical intercept showed 925 meters of 0.21 grams gold per ton, 0.27% copper and 82 ppm molybdenum. In addition, they explore the Margarita project with a new discovery underway in an iron oxide copper gold system in the near Copiapo in a world-class IOC G-belt. Talk had two new discoveries in 2023 with 42 meters of 1.11 grams gold per ton, 0.48% copper on a new parallel structure 200 meters west of the initial Fala 13 discovery with 132 meters of 0.48% copper in oxide mineralization at the Cotatuda Plaget. The company is poised for large copper exploration success and the chart has built a real bottom now. With rising copper prices and ongoing exploration success, the stock can go fast back to one Canadian dollar. Helen Metals explores for copper in Peru. The copper gold focused exploration company attracts the support of some of the largest players in the copper space and the focus is on new frontiers ripe for giant discoveries. They drill in Ireland, Chile and Peru in 2023 and anticipate a pipeline of drill ready porphyry, scan and epithermal targets over the next five years. A huge advantage is the joint venture with Jockmac. Tech holds a 9% equity stake in the company. In Peru explores Hannon the Valiente project with up to 18 major copper gold porphyry SCARN epithermal systems located in a new unexplored Miocene belt. With Japanese Jokmek, they take care on the joint venture on the San Martin project in Peru, which is a high-grade sediment hosted copper silver analogous to the Central African copper belt. The Cerro Rolando project in Chile is a large blind geophysical porphyry target with drilling in Q3 this year to earn into 100%. In Ireland, they have a top-ranking plus resource in Europe's premier zinc district. Hannah Metals has built a nice bottom in the chart and has recovered from the low with an upward trend. 
the first price target is 50 Canadian cents. And then with a move above the 60 Canadian cents, we see a target of one Canadian dollar 50 for the stock. Copper is a bright future as it is the metal of choice for energy transportation as well as renewable energy, e-mobility, and solar. Copper prices will move massively higher on growing demand and deficits in the next five years. Now is the time to get cheap, good companies. I'm Jochen Steiger, Swiss Resource Capital HG, in partnership with Tukas Copy TV. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.